Can I check this, like... This tombstone over here? Looks like I can go down there, but how the hell do I get down there? Is it just a pathway? Oh, it's just a pathway. Okay, I couldn't see this shit. Oh my god, camera? Hello? Of course you'll wait for me, Shaggy. Oh my fucking god. Scooby almost died. I almost got crushed to death. This is a fucking movie studio? Why is this under- what the hell? This is one expensive ass movie studio? God damn. Also, again, I want to point out the music is great. Like, very good. Very, like, child-friendly horror, you know? Any poltergeist hiding around or anything? No. Nothing? Okay, one big circle. There's a coffin down here. I think there's like a vampire or a mummy in it. He's going to suck your blood. He's a vampire. Jump scare vampire. Nice. I can see Shaggy. Hey, and like this is some kind of electrical room. It looks dangerous as shit. That sounds like one nasty shock over there. <laughs> like this mystery just got like super dangerous. Oh my god, and this crazy ass turn radius these characters have. The spooky witch. Raggy, look. What'd you find there, Scoob? Tape. I found some tape. Poltergeist page, nice. I see you, bitch. That's a really good effect, though. Wait, was it the poltergeist that was swinging the fucking- Oh my god. Oh my god. I pressed the wrong button. Ooh, I almost got hit by that fucking chair. Stop throwing shit at me! Stop it! Damn right we gotta power up this book. Give me a moment. I got I got to find some spooky power. Why is there like no music? <laughs> that makes it even worse. Oh, that did a lot. That did a lot of damage. I mean, there's it doesn't seem like there's any reason for the damage cuz like I did lose some of my spook I did lose my spooky meter and all that happens is that they run away. Like, no game over? There we go. Say I did it. Mystery solved. Sci-fi movie set? Bullshit. It's dangerous as shit. Did that man really just put Subi inside of a sack <laughs> and ran off? That dude just run off with my fucking dog? Oh my god! <laughs> Forget getting scared. Oh shit. Oh my god, I'm not gonna catch up to that guy. 
Homeboy stole my dog. Did I do it? Yeah, I made it. Hey there. Huh? Shaggy, did you see that walking suit of armor? See it? Fuck. My kid snatched up Scooby. Really, Velma? Great. I'll catch it all on film. <laughs> yeah. Like if it doesn't catch us first. <laughs> like really, Velma? Shaggy, did you see that suit of armor? Fuck the suit of armor. He took my dog. <laughs> what? Anyways, here, Velma, I got some clues. Great, you found a clue. So, what about that red knight, huh? So, uh, you gonna help me or not, Velma? Instead of pointing out the fucking obvious. Time to go fucking Ultra Instinct Shaggy. You know, do it John Wick style. They fuck with my dog. It's like, listen, I don't care that you that you took my money. I don't care that you beat me up. I don't care that you fucked up my house. <laughs> you you took my dog. <laughs> what the fuck? What is this guy saying to me? Oh wait, it, there's a mummy in there. <laughs> I'm sitting there like... <laughs> like sure this Sup, dog? Am I supposed to, like, look inside the caskets? Caskets. Yeah, caskets. Right? Why do I feel like that's not... Why do I feel like that's not the right word? So what do I do? Just look inside? Nope. Okay, just Scooby Snacks over here. I'm just looking around, seeing if there's anything I missed. Like, those are just more snacks. Wait. Where'd the key go? Oh, it's over there. Okay. I was like, I was confused as fuck. I was like, wait a minute. Man, fuck your brother. Right. Motherfucker took my dog. <laughs> Think I give a shit? That's my Scooby. That's my Ruby Dooby Doo. How, do, how the fuck do I get up there? I assume that's why we knocked it over, right? So I can get up there? The hell out the way, zombie man. Zombie man? Mummy man? Do I tip this over and like, nope. How the fuck do I get over there? Oh, he's about to corner me. Hold up. Oh, here it is. I didn't see this. Okay. I was so confused. I was like, how the hell? I am a natural. Thanks for noticing. Dude, I didn't even notice he was up there. Holy shit. Oh, I gotta push this over. Okay. I see. Alright. So where the hell do I go for that? All the way over here? I'm always scared, man. I'm always scared because I'm always high. <laughs> Looking over my shoulder. Anxiety. I'm just kind of looking around, making sure that I find these damn buttons. Is there one over here? No. Ah. 
I would assume one would be like, I don't know, over here or something, but I guess not. Uh, hmm. Scooby would be able to squeeze through that. That hole down there. Oh, I just push it. Okay. With my all <laughs> with my ultra instinct shaggy strength. Did I just push like whatever the hell's supposed to be over here too? Because there's like a kind of like a pathway thing over here. Yeah, I do push this. Okay. Perfect. Now I just take the long way around. This game kind of feels like a hodgepodge of like a bunch of bullshit, right? Like I want to say, I want to say this feels kind of like Meet the Robinsons, like the game, but that game came out way after this. That game's kind of weird too. I'll definitely do a playthrough of it one <laughs> one of these days, right? Like, I want to do a playthrough. I want to do a playthrough of all, like, the fucking licensed games that are, like, really good, honestly. Did it for the French Mustard. Like, Meet the Robinsons is, like, it's not the best, but it's alright. A game that's, like, underrated as shit is like chicken little that game's really fucking good uh what other like licensed disney games you know besides like aladdin and lion king not just disney specifically either how the fuck okay guess i gotta go back All right. All right, so hop up here. Man, this is a roundabout way to get a fucking key. Like, come on, Shaggy. All that weed you smoke, I know you know how to hop a couple of fences. <laughs> like, come on. Well, you tell me you can't hop that fence and grab and grab that key over there? I'm calling bullshit. Got that crackhead speed. <laughs> All right, let's go into the inside the Coliseum. I knew somebody was gonna try and fight me the moment I get in here. Oh, and of course Daphne's fucking cat. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> what am I, chopped liver? Yeah, bitch. You don't do shit. Like, where's Fred? He probably got pieced up by the suit of armor. <laughs> Put him in the corner, gayed him up. <laughs> like, of course Daphne got captured, of course. I love how over the years they, like, slowly try to undo the damage they did to Daphne's character, right? Where they're like, well, make her, like, make her have, like, fucking, like, judo moves and shit. But she's still like a girly girl, so like make her use her hair dryer as a weapon and shit. <laughs> and it's like, it's like, man, you guys really just didn't know what to do with Daphne. You just needed, you just needed, a, <laughs> for lack of a better term, you just needed a hot piece of ass, didn't you, to be <laughs> to be on the team? <laughs> you needed someone to bring in the views, right? Fred's the leader. Scooby and Shaggy are the are the you know actual working uh not actual working you know what i mean fucking they're the physical labor right even though fred should be with how fucking big that man's shoulders are velma's like the intellectual the actual mystery solver and and daphne's just eye candy <laughs> 
Daphne's just one dimensional, nothing else. Sadly. All right, so I want over here to do. I'm just trying to get a good look to see if there's anything else I need to like add on to the walkway before I walk my ass over there and then have to painstakingly walk all the fuck the way back. Locked on the other side. Okay, well, it's locked on the other side, then there's really nothing else I can do. So I'm going to run my ass over here. I don't think there's nothing else I can do. Like, I'm trying to get a good look at it. Ma'am. I gotta say, my, my uh, recording schedule has been, like, really, like, all over the fucking place recently. But, but you know what I blame for that? <laughs> Besides my own procrastination, I blame, uh, I blame Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Man, a part of me was like, part of me was like, I should record this while I play it, but I knew if I did that, I, I would take like forever to beat that game. Also, I just like doing all the side quests and shit in it. Like, that is it. Like, I still, I would probably say in terms of like a whole ass, like a whole ass, um, experience. Like a whole experience as a, no, as an adventure, I would say Xenoblade 1's the greatest. In terms of like, Characters, I would go with Xenoblade 2, but in terms of like a video game, like fuck, 3 is great. I mean, character, like, don't get me wrong, characters in Xenoblade 3 and shit is great too, but like, and so is the story. Story's pretty alright. Story's pretty alright. Um, but like, but like, uh, <laughs> man, like, that is a video game, video game. There is so much video game to video game in that game. So many side quests. Like, it's crazy sometimes. What the fuck? Oh, I need a lever. Well, not a lever, a crank. I need Christmas with the cranks. With Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis. Listen, hear me out, guys. I don't care what you say. Jamie Lee Curtis has aged gracefully, and you know what? If Jamie Lee Curtis was the was to knock down my door right now and say it's go time <laughs> I wouldn't say no that's right I'm cultured bitches I'm attracted to Jamie Lee Curtis that's a beautiful woman speaking about Jamie Lee Curtis isn't like a new Halloween coming out I still haven't watched I still haven't watched like I have the first one like of like the new is it a trilogy or is it a quadrilogy oh fuck what was it? it was halloween then halloween kills and now it's now it's the new one so it's a new trilogy it's a trilogy right yeah but that comes up does that come out this month or did it already come out because i knew hellraiser came out for hulu like this week uh, last month, I think, a new Predator movie came out. I'm really dating this video, by the way. A new Predator movie, which wasn't called Predator, it was called Prey. I see what they did there, because, uh, instead of the Predator this time, instead of it being about the Predator, it's, being, it's about the Prey, and then there's a bunch of other things where the Predator becomes, where the Prey becomes the Predator, and the Predator's hunting the Apex Predators, and da 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 You know, overall, you know, since the original Predator's since the original, not Predators, my bad, not Predators, gotta be careful what you say here, you have another Aliens, Aliens situation, right, uh, the original, uh, The Predator, well, not The, what the fuck was it called, was it just called Predator, like the original, or was it The Predator, ugh, but you know what I mean, the original with Arnie, right, you know, get to the chopper, right, like, finally, finally a movie that does it justice right Prey's really fucking good if you haven't watched prey yet which i understand because the marketing for that thing was so focused on it not being a predator movie right because they wanted to do that weird thing where it was all like where it's like and then people are going to find out that the movie's actually a predator movie right and like everyone's gonna it's gonna be real wild and everyone's gonna talk about it and it's like no nah, not really especially when like 
the Predator series has been like nothing but a letdown over the fucking <laughs> over the course of like what 14 years or so I don't know right more than 14 years honestly fuck like a long ass time damn Shaggy you almost got fucked up but like yeah if you haven't seen Prey go watch Prey Prey's great There are some bad things about it, but like the bad things are like really, really like nitpicky, honestly. Except for maybe like one thing. Okay, okay. Except for maybe two things. Yeah, except for maybe like two things in the movie. I'm not going to say what they are because, you know, I don't want to spoil anything, you know? But like, oh, and by the way, saying it's a Predator movie is not a spoiler. It's pretty fucking obvious, right? Oh my god, homeboy clocked me in the back of the fucking dome. <laughs> I'm like, alright, chill out. Ah, fuck. Wait, was that the mummy page? Wait, wh what's attacking me? What the fuck attacked me? Huh? Oh my god. Okay, now I can capture mummies. Nice. And they have, like, a fucking ground stomp. Ground stomp? Man, that takes a lot out of you, huh? Yeah, but if you haven't seen Prey yet, go watch Prey. Prey's great. You... Oh, fuck. You saw how fast they came after me? I haven't watched Hocus Pocus 2 yet. Which I need to do. I need to do, but you know what's weird? I haven't heard shit about Hocus Pocus 2 now that I think about it. I haven't heard anyone talk about it. I haven't heard anyone say it's good. I have not heard anyone say it's bad. Like, no one's talked about it. And honestly, I'm not sure if anyone watched it or not. Right? Like, I feel like nobody just watched it at all. Or something. Like, a lot of people just went like, Oh, no, I don't want to ruin the original in my mind, so just don't watch it. The original's really good. Like, I remember, um... The hell is this do? I remember, uh... <laughs> you know... The old man that is me. I was like, uh... You know... Oh my god, fuck this. Oh, now I'm dead. Oh, that sent me back a bit. That sent me back a bit. Okay, but not too far, though. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut up, director. Oh, man, you're a natural. Shut up. I've been saying that shit for, like, five hours. Um. But, yeah, I remember, like, being the old man that I am. I'm not that old. But, like, you know, showing the new generation, the youngins. I was like, oh, man. I got this movie on Blu-ray called Hocus Pocus and having people go like having the kids go like uh not my kids by the way but having you know my niece my nephew my cousins um going like this old ass movie was the hell is this and I was like it might be old but it's a good ass movie right and they're like yeah whatever and I was like all right then let's watch it you want to watch it and they're like sure whatever and then we watch oh my god that really Jesus, that hit me from all the fuck the way over there? How the hell am I supposed to... How am I supposed to get you if I can't get close enough? Without getting fucked up. There we go. Um... But like... I gotta... I gotta back my way from... I gotta back away from the other mummies. But yeah, we watched the movie. And in the end, you know... I was like, I was like, listen, it's an old movie, right? But it's still good, though, right? And they're like, yeah, it's good. <laughs> they're like, yeah, it's good. Of course it's good. Hocus Pocus is a good-ass fucking movie. You know, it's got, like, really bad old CGI in it, you know, at some parts. But, like, it's good. And also, it was back when, like, 
when like it was a children's movie but they didn't treat children like they were fucking idiots and they didn't know what like what what sex or death was right because there's a lot of there's a lot of fucking innuendos in that movie <laughs> and there's also like um it's also like you know the whole the whole thing is that like the witches are not there to like oh we're gonna we're gonna capture you and I don't know scare you or something. They're like nah we're here to kill these kids dog. <laughs> we're gonna kill all these kids. We're gonna take all the children. We're gonna suck their souls out like it's fucking like it's ecto cooler. <laughs> we're on some fucking black ops zombies type shit. Fetch me their souls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and as I'm watching, I was as I'm watching, I was like, and there's, and there's everyone's, everyone's dream, the blonde sister whose name escapes me right now. Like, like, come on, come on, growing up with that movie, you gotta have a crush on that lady. There's no way that you don't. There's no way you don't. Don't lie to yourself. Oh fuck. Oh, I gotta. Oh, there's a time limit to it. Oh, this is. Oh, this is not good. These controls are not good. <laughs> I like. Shaggy turns on a fucking dime. Holy shit. I mean, he doesn't turn on a dime. He takes forever to, like, turn and, like, orientate himself. But yeah, I'm sitting there, I'm like, the blonde sister? Come on, everybody had a crush on the blonde sister. Come on. Like, like, little boys, <laughs> like, being a young man. <laughs> I was, I said little boys, and I was like, maybe I shouldn't say it like that. Because in my mind, I was, I was thinking, like, you know, I was a little boy. But, like, uh, you know. You no, know, the youngins were awakened that day, right? What the hell? What what are you getting scared of, Shaggy? Okay, I don't know what the hell Shaggy got scared of. Besides his own damn shadow. Yeah, but it was like being a kid watching that movie, seeing the blonde sister, something awakened you, and if and if you and if you were a girl and you didn't like boys, you found out that day too. Right? Oh man. We need movies like that. Like those were considered family friendly. We need movies like that again, right? Like I wanna say the last time I think Disney ever like attempted something like that was what what was it called? Don't look under the bed or something? Or like, was that the name of that movie? It was. It was like a. It was like a Disney Channel, like straight to Disney Channel movie, right? You know, Disney Channel original movie. Um. Where like, did I just do a complete fucking circle. I did a complete fucking. Okay. Uh. What the hell is that about? Oh, I went to get the fuse. That's what I did. I have the fuse, right? I think I do. Um. Where the hell do I go? Oh, the, okay, wait, what? I'm confused, I can't, wait, what? I found cheese. Wait, I'm honestly confused. Where the fuck did I come from? I came from here, right? I came from here. Wait. Oh, so I go this way. All right, there we go. Yeah, but it, it was like a uh, it was like a Disney Channel movie or some shit where like there was this kid and then there was these two other kids, but the two other kids were ghosts, and they were trying to seal away this other ghost that was like a fucking adult. <laughs> like I don't. I don't remember the name of the movie, but I think that was the last time they tried to do something that was around, not, not exactly like, um, oh shit. Oh wait, why am I running from you? I can trap your ass. 
but like I think that was the last time they ever tried to like really do um anything that that was kind of close to like the feeling of Hocus Pocus, right? Man, that took a lot of energy, huh? And then there's also like the Halloween Town movies. Like, I'm pretty sure everyone will tell you, like, if you ever watch the Halloween Town movies, I'm pretty sure everyone will go like, Halloween Town 1's pretty good. Halloween Town 2 is boring as shit. Halloween Town 3 is not as good as 1, but it's still good. And Return to Halloween Town was just like, New Age Disney. Like, early era of like, Hannah Montana type shit. <laughs> So, it wasn't really about Halloween Town itself. It was about, like, girls in high school. She has boy trouble. And other girls are mean to her. But they're all monsters? Whoa. <laughs> right? It had that type of uh, feeling to it. Oh my god, now that I'm thinking about, like, Return to Halloween Town, that was, like, the last time Disney had, like, what the fuck, like, Disney Channel had, like, between commercials, they had, like, this weird, like, side show or whatever, between commercials, what the hell did I just say, between shows during the commercials, they would sometimes have, like, this weird side show where it's, like, other Disney Channel kids, like, talking about, like, uh, fucking, like, reviewing the movie or whatever. And like before that, it was fucking uh, Disney's 411. <laughs> For what's the 411? Disney's so hot summer. <laughs> My name's Kim Possible, and you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> and you're watching Disney Channel. Oh man, that's funny. And then you have characters like Stitch who don't even fucking speak anything and they'll just like say a bunch of gibberish and just like fucking draw the Disney logo. I'm Kyle Maxey from Cory in the House. <laughs> You're watching Disney Channel. Hi, it's me, Zach and Cody. And we're drinking Danimals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all those fucking Danimal commercials. Stupid ass yogurt. Missing gear and fuse. Where the fuck is the fuse then? What? Did I miss the fuse? Did I really like miss the fuse? What the fuck? That means I gotta go all the fuck the way back, right? I'm a chef, chef too. 